folks, welcome back to another video. So, I'm up in Phoenix Park again. I'm uh, at this lovely pond. It's quite windy, so I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, I've come up, I've um, had an urge to photograph some uh, some uh, pond birds. Um, I've come up, and there's actually quite a few morans, morans. They're a beautiful bird, blackbird. Um, they have a lovely red beak with a yellow tip and they're all black. Um, gorgeous little bird. So I think I'm just going to concentrate on them today. Um, I've got an hour to kill. So I'm just going to sit here for an hour. I'm just going to watch them for a bit. And I uh, want to see, see what they're up to. I can actually see they're getting in and out of the water quite frequently as well. So I'll probably try and get some photos of them out of the water. Um, in quite harsh light. I don't know if you can see. It's quite harsh light coming through. Um, the pond is in shade. So uh, lighting is going to be a bit difficult. But I'm going to try to get creative with it. See what I can do. Sit for a bit, just watch them again, see see what they're doing, get some footage, and then I'll try and get some images. So you can hear them. They're a beautiful bird. I don't think I've ever photographed them before to be honest. Lovely black feathers and they have the red beak that comes up. Um I'll see can I capture it in the photos for you today. But uh, there's actually a few out of water down there. I might crawl down and give it a go. So uh, right. Let's see, can we capture these guys? I'll get some footage first, and then I'll go for some images. So, uh, wish me luck. Oof. So, let me show you some of these photos so far because I think I got some nice ones. Nice ones of them um, in the morning on the, on the water. Um, and I got some lovely ones of them out of the water as well. I'll flick through these images here, I'll show you. So look. Lovely. See the red, the red beak and the yellow tip. Gorgeous little bird. 
got some lovely ones of them on the water kind of underexposed just to kind of see could I get some silhouette shots I took plenty trigger happy but uh, let me see I got some real nice ones of um, out of the water as well Let's see can I find one I really like really like this one see the the light coming through behind and uh, just walking in the grass really like that one pretty sure I got some more as well Yeah, so I got some nice ones. I got one, one I really like of them in the water, and then I got one I really like, I showed you those, um, up out of the water and the grass, with the light coming through in the background. It makes a real nice contrast. But there, uh, the sun's coming through now. There's quite a lot of people coming with dogs. So uh, I'm thinking I might just wrap it up because I've annoyed these birds enough following them up and down. They're coming in and out of the water and I think they're getting quite annoyed at me. So so I think I'll just leave them be. I'm going to call it a day. I'm uh, definitely throw that photo over on the Instagram. Sean Mead Photography. I'll leave a link down below um, if you want to jump onto the Instagram or over my website as well, seanmeadphoto.com. I'll leave a link down below to the website as well. Um, I have a, a bird section over there. I'll probably add these onto it because I've never photographed these guys before so um, I may as well add them over. But uh, yeah, it was a quick one today. Um, don't know if it was fun for you guys, but it was fun for me. I had a blast. Um, I love coming out and just photographing new stuff, doing um, different things. It's quite easy just to do the same thing over and over again, but uh, I like to go to new places, do different things, photograph different things. Um, I just photographed the same thing this, the whole time. But uh, yeah, anywho, I'll ramble on. I'm gonna wrap up because I need to get home and I'm gonna call it a day. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.